my friends traders, this is Caroline Alizan, a graduate student of the Grok Trade Mentoring Program. It is Monday, April 18th of 2011, and we are looking at the Q's daily chart, and check this out. What a beautiful formation on our daily chart, and what I want you to pay really close attention to is what I'm going to talk to you about here today. We are having a few really important things happening here on our daily chart. First of all, remember that low base formation in here that we had on our chart last week and we were still below the two major moving averages below the eight moving average which is here in green as well as that red moving average which is sitting at the 5701 mark so we are still below them but what we were looking for last week we were looking for a breakout through the low of April 12th, which was at the 56.15 15 mark, so that's why we put this little trend line out here, so we could see it when we got closer to it. And finally, we got over it and we broke through the downside here today, breaking through the low of, of 56.15, and we had straight down, getting to that low of 55.32, which was a pretty sh strong area of support, and we bounced off of it, and we closed the day above the low of April 12, which was again at the 56.15. So now, what this candlestick is telling me is that we are having this little hammer formation on our chart. We form that hammer, which is indicating a reversal coming up here. But listen to this. Before we jump into anything, we need to have a confirmation. So this little hammer by itself, it's not telling me anything. We need to get a confirmation to get into anything. So first of all, what needs to happen in terms for us to get in and to confirm it, we need to break through the high of today which is at the 5627 mark and then also we need to close above that high and that would be a really nice confirmation here but remember that we are still getting closer and closer to all major areas of, of resistance on our way up so we have quite a few walls here to break through to really come and break through the other side of the trade so pay close attention to those as well so that's the first one that we see here this hammer reversal candlestick what else do we see here see that pretty W pattern forming this is the first leg and then we have the middle leg here we come all the way down here and we can form another leg up and that would be a pretty W formation on our chart which is a bullish formation but before it gets confirmed we'll have to get all the way up here to that high of April 1st which was at the 5790 and then we would need to break through it and close above it to confirm that W formation so that little hammer formation it's a reversal candlestick so look for that confirmation to happen and also watch all major areas of resistance on our way up because we have quite a few of them here to break through to really get to the other side to the bullish side of the trade and then we still have that high of April 1st to break through which was at the 5790 to really get bullish and get going right there so put your little trend lines right here on your charts so you can see them when we get close to them so that's what we see here on our chart that's what I see here on my chart and that's what's happening out here but check this out look at the MACD how flat it is it's not telling me anything it's not confirming anything at this point in time it's resting it's sitting right on top of the zero line and we're not getting any information out of the MACD right now. So pay attention to it to see if we get a major move up or down. If we are going to get a little bit of a bounce here on our chart, but the MACD is pointing lower, is breaking to the downside, you just stay away. Just remember that because it's not confirming. It will, be, it will not be confirming that up move. So be really careful out here and check this out look at the volume 
we are getting an, an increase in volume here a little bit. We are above the average, slightly above the average, which means that we could be hitting a bottom and we could be ready to reverse and head back out. But again, look for confirmation. Look and watch our pretty chart here and then watch the MACD and look for a confirmation as well as look at the volume to see if we're gonna if we're gonna get a, a spike right here and then if you see all of them behaving the right way you can be pretty confident but if not just stay away remember that alright so hope it helps you here and if you have any questions just write a comment right below the video and I'll be really happy to to help you and answer all of them here but um, anyways, have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.